Hello. This week we're going to take a piece of timber such as this and turn it into a lovely picture frame just like this. Hope you enjoy. Using a flat end mill bit, make sure it's just barely tucked in behind the fence and then measure out with an adjustable square to make sure both sides are even. Use a cove bit for the next step and make sure that the fence is placed halfway over the bit. Mind your balance, otherwise, you will end up having to re trim the board as I have done here. For the last router operation, we are moving the fence back two-thirds of the way. Make the first 45 degree cut on the edge of the board, however, make sure that it is also facing the right direction, otherwise you're going to be taking off more material as I did here. Next, measure out the area that you want to cut. Me, it's going to be two hundred and forty five. Next, we're going to glue everything up, have the picture frame clamp right here already set up. And the last step in this process of assembly is weighting everything down. And waiting for the glue to set. For the sanding portion, all I'm using is a bit of doweling and some old sandpaper. You can use a pencil or a pen or whatever as long as it's round. And then I will just go back and forth on it, rotating it each time. But what I like to do is switch hands and go the other way.
make sure I get into the corners. If you have some stubborn wood glue, just use the router bit that you used. And then take it in the corner and scrape as it has the same contour. And then you'll be ready for the staining or painting, whichever you're going with. For the treatment, I'm using some quick drying tongue oil. Once you place it down, you'll wipe off the excess in, say, 20 minutes. And then let it dry for a few hours and then retreat it again. Just make sure to get all the sides as well. Although it would still soak through and get it for you. If you have any questions or comments, I'll get back to you, and if you would please like, share, and subscribe.